All right, guys, so I wanna dive into a couple things. And right now I'm at sea level, obviously. You can see the water. But what happens when we go up to altitude? And I've had a couple clients most recently who were in Denver, who were in Aspen, who were um, up, in, uh, up in Canada and uh, over in the Rockies. And the big thing that we have to come back to is when we were at altitude, a couple things happen. One, we get more and more dehydrated. We lose water. Why? Because our respiration rate goes up. How do we know our respiration rate goes up? Wearable data. If you look here, you can see the spike in respiration rate, which is also similar to the spike in respiration rate we see when we have symptoms of COVID and why these devices, both Whoop and Aura, are really accurate at detecting COVID two to three days prior to um, uh, any type of symptoms coming on. Now, why is this important in an altitude setting? Well, because when our respiration rate goes up, we're also gonna see our HRV go down because respiration rate increases, resting heart rate increases, and thus, again, it's putting more stress and strain on our body because we're working harder to adapt to the increased need for oxygen. So how do we make changes to that? One, we make sure that we're hydrating extra careful, okay? We're making sure we're getting, instead of half our body weight in ounces, we're getting two thirds of our body weight in ounces. The other thing we need to be aware of is that there's something called altitude sickness, where if we continue to push ourselves to certain levels at altitude right away, we can induce external and extra fatigue. And those things battened over and over and over again can cause nausea, can, can cause uh, sleep interruption, can cause um, uh, muscle pulls, muscle strains, cramping. All of these things happen and we can see it. I'm gonna keep this up here, is that that measure of respiration rate. The respiration rate increase at altitude. You can see here, this was my trip to Aspen. I got to Aspen, I landed, literally that night, everything spiked. I woke up in the middle of the night gasping for air. I, uh, I was at 12,000 feet. I, uh, it wasn't until day three that I actually started sleeping through the night. It was almost like I had sleep apnea because our body is now seeking and asking for higher levels of oxygen. So we see it right here. We see that increase in respiration rate. We see that increase in, uh, in breathing frequency. All of a sudden I get back to sea level and we see it drop. Just as here, correlation, HRV. The HRV dip and the HRV drop. Respiration rise, respiration drop. So when we go to altitude, do not be surprised when you see the respiration rate rise and you see the HRV drop. It does not mean that uh, you're sick. It does not mean that there's a uh, massive change in fitness level. It just means your body is trying to adapt to what's going on. And thus from a habit change, you need to hydrate extra well. You need to focus on getting that act added extra uh, sleep and staying focused to that. And we can also make sure that from an exercise standpoint, we're focused on purposeful and intentional activity. So again, at altitude, we're gonna see that respiration rise. We're gonna see that HRV drop. Do not be alarmed. It's something that's natural. We will acclimate. However, be attentive to the habits in which you're doing to make sure that these things do not hinder you long-term, especially from a dehydration standpoint.